this critical temperature is actually increases with the coupling constant j and the coordination number, which is a uh, intuitive or qualitatively correct because let's talk about it. I think this is more important point than the complicated thing itself. The fact that Tc is linearly proportional to J, let's think about what does it actually mean in physically. It means that as we increase as we increase the interaction between spin this j value correspond to the energy contribution of each point and as i already mentioned as t, the t, the meaning of Tc is that above Tc, here is the disordered phase, and below Tc is the ordered phase. And the fact that Tc is proportional to J means that as this coupling constant become larger and larger, the Tc become larger and larger means that the range of ordered phase is become increases and the range of disordered phase become decreases. So, and it's quite intuitive because of course the interaction between them as the strength of the interaction between them gets uh, stronger and stronger, of course you need a higher temperature to break this order. That is the main point. And also, The second part is actually quite related to this network finance as well. We can usually put this as a degree soon. So this means that the coordination number is three here. And of course, it is also understandable because as you have more neighbor to interact with, you need a higher temperature to break this order here. So The case of some general network structure like a scale free network is not actually covered by this usual original or the ordinary field theory. So you can actually imagine some situation like, for example, if we have very large hub like this, then to make this spin system disordered, you need a much higher temperature. So it's almost polar opposite to the one dimensional case. It is possible that TC can actually diverge. What does it mean? It means that well, by the definition of infinity, any finite temperature cannot break this order phase. Please note that Tc is zero at zero one dimensional temperature. So it means that it's always ordered phase, regardless of the temperature. And this behavior is precisely happened for scalar-free networks with gamma exponents smaller than three. There's a whole discussion about this. This is one of the Mostly, perhaps one of the most important theoretical achievement of the, the whole theory of uh, network science in coupled with the uh, statistical physics. Of course, I this cannot be just explained by this uh, uh, very qualitative argument, but you can just imagine by this 
mathematical dependency of the TC with respect to the degree.